Good afternoon and welcome to the Camping World Community Station Horsham. That's Matt and AJ for Robins Fanatics TV here for the Isthmian Premier League game between uh, Horsham and Carshaw and Athletic. Uh, Horsham's last result on Tuesday was a 5 0 win over, over Crimson Casuals and Carshaw and, um, uh, lost the game 2 uh, 0 at Lewis. So um, Horsham currently top of the league, played 2 1 2, and Carshaw and about about mid table, uh, one one lost one. Uh, much changed team now, Matt. What do you, what do you think of today against Horsham? How do you think it's going to go? Uh, well, we've got very much still early days for our team. Um, I do like the squad. I think it, it's going to, you know, when it comes good, it'll be good. Yep. Um, obviously, they've got Bobby Price. You know, we're missing one of our most our friend Bobby Price, one of our most valuable players from last season when he wasn't playing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, but more important, this team, it's, it's, it's got to start to gel, and I think yeah. we've got a good squad, we've never had a stronger from the starting 11 and the subs, we've actually got a subs bench now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it will, it will work, I mean, it's going to take a couple of more, I'd say another month to really bed in. Oh yeah, because it's, it's, um, yeah, yeah, this so is a, it's a practically a new squad from scratch. I'll be happy for a draw. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here by a draw, and then we can just build. Just, just got to build on it every week. Yeah, as long as we improve every week, I'm not that bothered. No, no, Cause it's gonna take. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, we only have three players from last season, and we've only got two of them because Paris is injured. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, it should be good. Um, um yeah, well, uh, uh, last season um, we played there. Um, we had the two-two draw. Um, last season, uh, we were actually Carson were actually two-nil down, but um. Uh, Corey Henry and Bradley Williams. Um, I brought the score to two two, and uh, yeah, it should be a good game. You know, obviously it's going to be a tough one with Horsham starting the season as well as they have done. But um, you know, it's the team that come together, and uh, yeah, we've got to give them time to do that. So still early days. So um, we just got to you know, hope for the best. So uh, what, what's going to be your score prediction of this one? Well, I said I hope for a draw, but I mean, on the way here, I was saying three one defeat. <laughs> But I hope for a draw. I'm, I'm going to go two all. Two all, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a one-one draw or a, or a scrapey one-one, one-nil win. Yeah. So um, yeah. So uh, yeah, let's hope for a good game, and we'll be back later on with how it's gone so far, and uh, I'll have some highlights on later. So until then, see you later. See ya. See ya. Two minutes played, and it's. Horsham nil, Carshall Athletic 1. I'll to figure out goal scorer for Carshall Athletic after two minutes. Don't have the goal, I was busy putting the flags up. Never mind. One, one, job. one job, one job, one job, one job, but I bucket it up. Never mind. One nil to the Robins. Come on, you boys. Go on, Walter! Go on, Walter! Go on, Walter! Oh, linesman! No way, man! No way! Come on, he Possibly. On Tom's. Get on the side of your feet. It's going on. Go. Foul. Thank you. Go on. Yes! yes! Get in! Great free kick, boys! Wow, 
37 minutes played, it's Horsham the old car, short in the flat, two. Beautiful free, free kick from Tom Bell to put the Robbins 2 0 up. Hey, well, so far, let's have to keep it going. On you, Robbins. And that's half time. That's half time here at Horsham FC, and it's Horsham Neil, Carl Shorten Athletic 2. I walk for Gera, I put Carl Shorten 1 0 up after two minutes with a lovely finish, and then there was a terrific free kick from Tom Beer. Uh, about 37 minutes. Uh, good performance from the Robins so far, far considering uh, they're top of the league. What do you reckon, Matt? Uh, we've been very solid, very solid at the back. Uh, what was starting to show us what he did at yep. uh, Merstrom and what got in that move to Ireland, the Ireland League. So, yep. um, yeah, no, I'm looking at Tom, yeah, such technique for that um, free kick. No yeah. back lift, he just, he just pinged it. Just pinged it, yeah. Perfect. He had no chance. No, I think everybody's played really well. Just, the back four have been amazing. No one's on the right kind of gone too far forward. No. Nope. Like has happened in the past <laughs> with the person on the on well, their Could you bench. possibly be meaning by that? Uh, probably hmm. Price. You saw us get sucked out of the <laughs> position. Yeah. Uh, so um, it's nice to actually have a back four that don't get sucked out of position. Yep. But still get forward. But, yeah. So, yeah, no, I think um, I'm very, very impressed. If we can, there's a few things we need to tweak, but that will come in weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I'm really happy with the way we've played. <laughs> Seems a good response from Tuesday. It is a yeah, very good response from Tuesday. Um, yeah, like Matt said the uh, defending's been really solid today. They've not really let them uh, have any real good chances. I don't think the goalkeepers had anything to say really from uh, from Horsham and um, and we at, at the other end we've sort of created chances and um, you know missed off and Walton took well, took his goal well and um, like I say the free kick was fantastic. So um, yeah, absolutely delighted with that. Considering how tough it can still go belly up. It's car short and nothing's ever easy for us. But um, yeah, so far here, it's um, a good performance of the Wobbins to find us 2-0 up. So uh, let's just hope we can carry it on in the second half and not do anything silly, make any silly mistakes and end up throwing it away. But uh, yeah, as Matt says, it's a really good recovery from um, uh, the, the, the defeat at Lewis uh, so far. So let's hope it continues. OK, so until full time, see you later. See you later. <laughs> Spells. That was coming. It was coming. 56 minutes gone, and it's Horsham 1, Horsham Athletic 2. Uh, Lucas Rodriguez, uh, header from a set piece uh, to reduce a deficit. Uh, Horsham have come out strongly in the second half and uh, caught us on the back foot a little bit and uh, have managed to pull one back. So uh, let's hope we can build on forward and get another third. Okay. Back later. Yeah, lucky. Go on, keep it on. That's a fucking round. Yeah. We're gonna get this guy. I hope so. Out of way. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at the cat. Hang on, I'm going to leave. This is so much space. That's it. Oh. 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 Oh.
Basketball. Oh, God. Oh, unlucky. Hey. Five minutes here at the Camping Wood Community Stadium, and it's Horsham One, Carshorton Athletic Three. Calvin Expeditor with a lovely finish on the 85th minute, put the Robins 3 1 up after he was under the cosh for a lot of the second half. So, uh, five minutes to go. Hopefully, we can keep this and get the three points. Go on, you Robs. It's a free kick. Ooh. Just gone wide. Yes! Yes! So here at the Camping World Community Stadium, it's finished. Ocean One, Castron Athletic Three. What do you think of that one, Matt? Great oh, result. I think it was a bit rubbish myself. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so, second half was a gritty performance. Wasn't it as good as the first? Yeah. It almost looked like we needed them to score before we got back on top of the game. Yeah. That's a great strike. Yeah, Calvin. I think Calvin Expertita scored the third. He's got to be pushing for the start. Yeah, definitely. I like, I like his power and pace. There's, you always look like something's going to happen when he's on the ball. Yeah, yeah. Well, Aaron played brilliantly again. Everybody played well. Yeah, that was a good game. Was, because we had to soak up a lot of pressure in that second half as well. Because um, Horsham came out with the B in their bonnet, you know. Mm. And, uh, you know, managers obviously give them a bit of roasting in the half-time break. And they come out and um, they scored like about 10 minutes into the second half. And then... I think you've got to also say, like, well done to the centre-halves. I mean, Ollie's only just signed Thursday evening. Yeah. Never played with each other. And they just looked short at the back. Yeah. And the wing back, the uh, full-backs... Did brilliantly as well, but the centre backs they, they look pretty rock solid, which is only good to see. And if we've got Arthur Lee coming in as well, that's a hell of a three good centre backs we've got now. That, so. that is, yeah. I mean, the defence was had to soak up a lot in the second half, um, with the pressure they put us under. But uh, you know, we had a few chances ourselves, and then Calvin Expertise, so five minutes from time, come up with a barnstorming goal to uh, make, yeah. put us 3 1 up, you know. Um, Probably a little bit against the one I play. We did have a couple of chances up until then, but Horsham probably had the better of it. But it's uh, exciting. I think uh, it's only the third game, and that's considering what happened on Tuesday, yeah. see them bounce back and play against the league leaders as yeah. they were after two. Yeah, uh, and we're only going to get stronger. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So, and the way we bounced to play like that after we after Lewis you know, to come back from that was a great credit to all the guys in the management that's um you know shows we've got a bit of steel in the side so something yeah. we've probably not had in the past couple of seasons so um well, no disrespect to anything that's been in the past we've no. actually got a team of people, uh, guys that are ready to not yep. only this level but to push on yep yep and that's including the bench there's yep. not a a wasted substitute we've got no if somebody comes in they're either going to do the same job yep or improve the team yeah so and uh to be to, to be have they they've been doing that fast like especially today the subs come on and made a change made a difference but yeah just to to come here it's a hard place hard place to come here but mm. to come here and play like that and get a free one victory back to uh Carl Shulman, it's fantastic you so, can tell that they they didn't expect this to happen no i think i think none of us did i mean no. before we were sort of saying we'd be happy with the point which would yeah. have been the truth to be fair considering how yeah. they started the season but um uh, but for us to sort of come out and play like that and get the win is brilliant so hopefully that'll give them the boost of confidence they need for the next game and again six points out the first nine against yep. the teams we've played i would have taken that absolutely yeah i'd have yeah. probably taken four points yep yep so really? um so no it's been good it's been good yep so uh yeah next up for robins home against Haringey. is it on saturday and then we've got kinsonia away on the following yeah. monday so uh yeah hopefully we can take this uh confidence from this game through to the following 
next one comes. So um, yeah, so until until then, uh, from two very happy Robin supporters, uh, Carl Shorten winning three one at Horsham, and uh, until next time, see you later. See you later. Bye.